The Quebec government announced tonight that it will introduce emergency legislation to try to end the long student strike. The move comes after students tried a new tactic today in their protests over tuition fees. About 100 of them, many wearing masks, burst into the University of Quebec in Montreal. Catherine Cullen has the latest. Flanked by school administrators, Quebec's premier announced new legislation he hopes will bring calm. This is an opportunity for people to cool down, take a breath, look at the overall situation. Shari says he'll introduce a law to ensure students have access to class without violence, though he won't yet say how. At schools where students are striking, the semester will be suspended. Classes will be moved to August and September. The fall semester will start in October. It comes the day yet another court injunction failed. Law students at the University of Quebec at Montreal tried to return to class. Protesters swarmed the building, disrupting classes and intimidating those who wanted to attend. The university has suspended classes until Friday. Yesterday, riot police threw tear gas and arrested five people at a junior college. Students who wanted to study made it inside, but teachers said they couldn't work in such a dangerous environment. One student group says a special law will only make the situation worse. It would create more violence, more tensions, and I think that everyone wants to avoid this. They strengthen their position. Earlier today, the new education minister said the students had hardened their stance against increased tuition fees. But Bureau Blouin says that's not true. If we in Quebec's government give us an ultimate chance to negotiate. We can come to something in a few hours. The government says it's keeping in place its offer of better loans and bursaries and a more gradual tuition fee hike. It's also putting out ads in tomorrow's newspaper reminding Quebecers the province has the lowest tuition in the country. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Montreal.